unless conservatives get their act together right away, Kevin McCarthy or one of his highly liberal allies like Elise Stefanik is very likely to be Speaker of the House in January. That would mean we will have a Republican Congress led by a puppet of the Democratic Party. The Republican Party is fractured. And let's start with Madison Cawthorn. Madison Cawthorn is facing a new slew of controversies and questions of misconduct. This is the latest controversy for the youngest member of Congress. Congressional Republicans are so mad at Congressman Madison Cawthorn. No doubt he's an extremist and he's said and done a lot of stupid things. But our story begins with him going on a podcast. He said, being kind of a young guy in Washington where the average age is probably 60 or 70, you know, I look at all of these people, a lot of them that I've looked up to through my whole life. I've always paid attention to politics. Then all of a sudden you get invited to, well, hey, we're going to have some kind of a sexual get together at one of our homes. You should come. I'm like, what did you just ask me to come to? And then you realize they're asking you to come to an orgy. Then he says, you know, some of the people that are leading on the movement to try to remove addiction in our country, and then you watch them do, you know, a key bump of cocaine right in front of you, and it's like, wow, this is wild. Addison Cawthorn says something disparaging about the leaders in the party, and then articles come out about him wearing women's lingerie. Photos appearing to wear women's lingerie. I don't think there's anything wrong with that photograph. I think he looks very pretty. However, when you come from a party that's running an attack on genderqueer culture, this probably won't look good with the base, and I think that's the intention. And that's not the only thing. There's a whole host of headlines that have come out against Cawthorn. Highway Patrol released a video of Representative Madison Cawthorn revoked license traffic stop. Madison Cawthorn caught bringing loaded gun through airport security. Madison Cawthorn implicated in potential insider crypto trading scheme, experts say. Madison Cawthorn is trying to commit every possible scandal. Now you have Madison Cawthorn coming out and saying that Republican leadership is running a smear campaign against him. And I think he's right. This is simple cause and effect. But Kevin McCarthy isn't even trying to hide that this is what he's doing. He had a meeting with Madison Cawthorn where he scolded him for coming out with stuff like this, saying that he's lost his trust. Why would Madison Cawthorn lose Kevin McCarthy's trust for saying this stuff if Kevin McCarthy wasn't who he was talking about? Congressman Kevin McCarthy. A man who in private, turns out, sounds like an MSNBC contributor. This brings us to another scandal. Kevin McCarthy's The McCarthy Tapes, they're calling them now, where Kevin McCarthy has stated that he thought that Trump should resign during the January 6th insurrection. A lot of Republicans didn't pay much attention to this until Tucker Carlson ran programming about it, because within the Republican Party, there's a lot of lying that goes on, but this is significant because it shows that Kevin McCarthy isn't aligned with the extremist base that the Republican Party really needs to win. And so internally, the party is, is a mess. New tapes reveal McCarthy worrying about the riot, but in particular calling out GOP members by name. I really think we're only going to see this get more messy and more interesting. And you even have Joe Biden commenting on the McCarthy tapes. I'm not really here to roast the GOP. That's not my style besides there's nothing I can say about the GOP that Kevin McCarthy hasn't already put on tape. Joe looks like he's having the time of his life. That was a good joke, good for him. However, the Democrats cannot keep relying on being less bad than the Republican Party. It's not going to bring them a win in 2024. And if we keep seeing scandals like this happening in the Republican Party, we're going to see the Democrats get complacent. Now is the time to pass progressive policies, get something done that makes a meaningful difference in the lives of everyday people so that you win in 2024. Because we have polls showing that 58% of Americans would rather vote for an independent candidate if it's a Joe Biden, Donald Trump race in 2024. So they've got to do something more than depend on the Republican Party being awful.